this video will be for those who work with paid ads and especially Google Ads. I want to present you my Google Ads Extended Analytics Report. Hey, my name is Gala, I'm Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gilly Report. And today we observe this nice Google Ads dashboard. This report has five pages. The first page is Insights. And it is a global overview of your Google Ads account. Actually, you already have this Google Ads filter, so when you check this template, you will update the um, My Sample account to your data, to your Google Ads account connected to email from which you open the dashboard. So what do we have here? We start with a global overview, like how much did you spend, how much campaigns do we have, uh, clicks, impressions, and conversions, just main metrics. Then we have several sections with the most um, effective campaigns, keywords, countries, etc. So here we can see um, campaigns, campaign one campaign with the most impression, one campaign with most clicks, conversions, and uh, high conversion rate. And on the right side, we can see three campaigns with most impressions, for example. Same logic with keywords and search term. So on the left side, we can see one keyword and one search term. And on the right side, uh, the most like five top five keywords and search terms. We start from keywords, but if you click to this little arrow, uh, you can drill down to search term. Mm. For countries, we have um, impressions, clicks, conversions. Again, one country and top three. Then we have performance by type. So we can see day of week and hour of day. The m most effective for your account. And some breakdown... Mm some charts with breakdown then devices age and gender our audience performance and uh, in the end of the page i added some section where you can add your text when you click edit you can add your comments if you wish so this is a global overview of your account just really quick snapshot snap um yeah uh, if you go to the next page campaign and ad group it will be already I don't know why, okay, finally it's loaded, sorry. Um, this already, we can see some details about our campaigns and ad groups. Uh, on the top we have filters. So we can select channel type, campaign, ad group, audience and device. And can observe our campaigns in detail. So we have key metrics. And what I really like here in this dashboard, it is we have like, for example, cost and we can compare it with previous months and previous year. It is a not default feature in Luther Studio, so I use some trick to implement it. Um, but you don't need to know. <laughs> if you want, you can click to edit and uh, check how did they make it, but you don't need it basically. Um, so after key metrics, we have a chart uh, with uh, this period. So in my template, this is March, but you can select any date range that you want. And you can change metric, click here. So you can change impressions to other key metrics to see, for example, interactions, how it was. Mm. Then we go to campaign overview section. On the top, you see two charts uh, with channel breakdown and campaign breakdown. Again, when you when you see change metrics, you can click to optional metrics and uh, add or remove or change the metrics that you see on the dashboard. And then we have campaign details uh, with um, all our key metrics and some additional like impressions top and the percentage of absolute top. I think this is super important for search campaigns. So I really like this metric. And uh, then we go deeper for ad group level. 
here again same logic we have um, type of ads so which kind of ad it was search in stream uh, unspecified uh, and exact name of ad group and we can again we can change impressions to other metric the same logic with campaign after charts we have uh, a table with detailed information about our groups um, it's important to check which campaign is present uh, is most effective but we can go deeper and check keywords level again on the top we have some filters that we can use to filter like to see which match type for example you you want to see like broad type for example and observe like w what broad keyword was most effective and we start here with a map and uh, this is a really interesting overview you can see the most popular keyword in your account and you can see percentage of like the percentage of this keyword from all your keywords and you can change impressions to conversions and see like which keywords converted most so i really like this map and uh, if we go down it's already more standard thing we can see match type so uh, we can say that broad keywords brought us more impressions uh, but it's i think it's normal situation but still you can see its numbers um, but i think more interesting here like how much money do you spend uh, and how much conversions do you have from which kind of type of keywords uh, then we can move to our search keywords and see top of them and of course we can see detailed keywords analytics and here uh, interesting columns here quality score this could be important for your account and uh, but others like quite kind of like standard like impressions interactions conversions like really standard keyword uh, standard metrics and of course after keywords we can observe search terms uh, they are important for us as well and we can search terms by impressions and by interactions um, but actually we can compare it uh, impression share and cost click conversion so i have different metrics in two charts so you can see for example in by impression share it doesn't work uh, i don't know it it's fine impressions top uh, all this search term was on the top but if we checked by cost we spent more money for this search term compared to others and we have some detailed analytics we can see from which group that uh, uh, this search term was and we can see main networks for search terms and uh, find what do we like or what do not what do we not uh, we can export this table actually and work with this table in google sheets for example uh, i think it could be useful because in google sheets you can uh, select not effective keywords that you think and add it uh, as a bulk to google ads account i would use it in this way then we have audience tab uh, and here we talk about our audience who saw our ads again we have a, a bit other filters here because not every audience not every filter works with all uh, metrics and dimensions so we change a bit filters in every tab i change filters in every tab and what do we have here we have different types of audience by default we have impressions but we can change metric by another uh, then we have audience type and audience 
now we can do like this global overview first and see which kind of audience is interested in your ads. Uh, then we have like classical age and gender breakdown and see our uh, how our ads performed for different types of uh, age and gender. And that's it. It, that, that is it actually for this. <laughs> so we observe in the beginning we do like a um, global overview about audiences and then move to age and gender thing. And uh, the last but it's interesting thing uh, in my account I don't have it's sample account it's small so we don't have here information but when we have when you have a bigger account you will have here impression share and top of page rate for you compare with your competitors in Google Ads so this is a super cool overview and I added here some notes that you understand what does it mean uh, again we have some filters here so this is competitors uh, overview if you work with Google Ads, for sure you know what it is. And just on my test account, I can like it doesn't work, but it's super useful, and I really like to use it. This kind of analysis, and then we have day and time analysis. I have separate filter for this, and we can see a day of week. Again, we can change metric, uh, hour of day, and detail table, pivot table actually here. So by default we have day uh, of week and we can open every day and see how it's split by hour. That is it. So I think this is uh, a really detailed Google Ads analysis and you can find almost all information that you need for analysis when you uh, work with your Google Ads. It could be detailed analysis for agency or if you work with account in manager by yourself. So it could help you or if you present your data for your boss in your company, uh, for your manager, it could work as well. I really like this dashboard. Hope you too. T test it. Uh, if when you buy it, of course, you will have edit access, so you can change my logo to your company logo. You can change design if you want, or you can update some metrics because maybe someone for your account uh, will not work, so you are interested in a bit other metrics. You can change it. If you need help on that, uh, it could be an additional service, and you can. Uh, write me a message with that and I can help you as well to customize this dashboard for your business. Hope you like it. Again, you can find this dashboard on my website, gaylyrepers.com. Uh, I added it to the first page right now, but you can find it in the template store paid ad section. Hope you like this video, enjoy it, and talk to you soon.